We've got NBA basketball in store for you. We're live at the Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. The home of the Warriors. Live on 2K Sports, welcome to the Tuesday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Doris Burke. And we've got David Aldridge on the sideline. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. JaVel McGee is out there with Ingram. And it's James in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Ingram, and he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Both sides will try and push it on the fast break doors to get easy scores. Talk a bit about playing fast, but also playing with efficiency. Well, you look no further than the Golden State Warriors, who when they are playing with pace and out in transition and the threes are flying, it's electric and frankly almost unstoppable. But they walk that delicate line of playing fast without turning it over. You want to give these great players freedom. But within that freedom, they've got to make sure, okay, we've got to value the basketball. And yes, we can maybe turn it over 10 times per game, but we get north of 10, 15 turnovers, and that's going to put us in a little bit of a problematic situation. Good analysis. Here's Curry. He dreams the quick shot. Boy, I don't know that I've ever seen a better pull-up jump shooter than Stephen Curry. An amazing ability to stop on a dime. James kicks to Ronda. McGee a screen. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. James drops in the layup for two. Heating up early on. This is exactly how he wanted to start the night. You're right. I mean, he's found his rhythm early. The defense has got to do a better job guarding him from this point on. Oh, he is one hard player to deal with at the offensive end. McGee is screen on Curry. Rondo kicks to Ingram. Passes it to LeBron. Back to Ingram. Shot clock at six. That shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. Warriors have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Curry kicks to Cousins. Back to Curry. Right side green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Outside Rondo. Looking for McGee, he gets it there. Hammers the alley-oop through. Yeah, and Rondo just working the ball around there. He loves finding his teammates when they're open in the sweet spots. And despite often going small, the Warriors are the best shot-blocking team in the league without a dominant center inside. Yeah, Kevin, that means it's about their overall length, especially on the perimeter. This is not just blocking shots in the paint. They're snuffing out long-range opportunities as well. How about Steph Curry, guys? You look at the superstar beginnings. Think about he was born in Akron, Ohio, the same city as, of course, the great LeBron James. In fact, born in the same hospital, just 39 months apart. Something in the water over there, guys. I think it's best to avoid putting this guy at the line if possible, but that's obviously easier said than done. Boy, the offense is really clicking. Four for five from the field to start, nice. Now, here's Curry. Eight points for him. And again, no good by Golden State. And talking about Curry's start, his parents were tremendous athletes themselves. That's exactly right. His father, Dell, played 16 seasons in the NBA. His mom was a standout volleyball player. His sister was, too. Athleticism runs in the family. Those are some pretty good genes. <laughs> I'll tell you, the crowd is stunned. He got that one to fall. McGee a screen. Rondo kicks to Ingram. Stolen by Durant. And Thompson gets it to go. Well, you've got to identify Clay Thompson early. In transition, he's so dangerous. The Lakers have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field to start out the game. So timeout, timeout. called here. The first Sorry. for Los Angeles. 
And after the Lakers landed LeBron, the talk was about if they would add Kawhi Leonard as well. Ultimately, it didn't happen. And Lakers want to keep their young guns in the end. And LeBron has said he felt that the team was ready without Kawhi and came to the Lakers because of that youthful core they had in place. And the Warriors with some changes. Bell is checked in for Draymond Green. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. And McCaw is subbed in for Thompson. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for JaVale McGee. And Stevenson comes in for Ingram. Hard, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Here is Stevenson following the score by Golden State. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Puts it up from 12. Warriors with the rebound. Coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. Curry can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. That's how it's done, gentlemen. You don't pass to a player. You pass to a spot. Let your teammate run into it. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Offensive rebound. James takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. James has got six points. Well, there's a brute physical force to LeBron James. Couple that with his terrific instincts, unbelievable reactions, and he's pretty good on the offensive glass. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And the Lakers making a change here. Beasley's checked in. Lakers have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Here's Hart to the paint. Here's Ball. He's off on that one. Nice D from Cousins. And Bell kicks to Iguodala from 13 and too long on the shot. A steal. And here's Bell from the arc. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. The arrival, certainly, of Kevin Durant fortified an already great Warriors team. Teammate Steph Curry spoke about what KD brings to the table. He gives us a different dynamic that we can count on. Um, he's obviously an all-world talent that does things on the court that not many people can do. You know, he's hungry, just like the rest of us, to get to that stage again and get back on top. You know, Greg, KD and Steph are a lethal combination for sure. Nearly impossible to guard. I mean, both former MVPs and with the talent surrounding them, a chance to make history. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? They're just not sitting back. They are going for steals, and their activity has been terrific. It has, Greg, no doubt. Love that they've gotten after it on the defensive end. Just continue to put pressure on. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, Kyle Kuzma is out there with Beasley. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then it's Lance Stevenson, and it's Hart in at the two guard. Well, think about Sean Livingston. He seemed to be ahead of the curve from day one. Here's a man who could walk at seven months. Or maybe I should say baby who could walk at seven months. He was reading by the age of three, playing basketball by the age of six. Kind of a prodigy, guys. No good from Bell. Boy, not enough spring in his step on the way to the cup. He actually short arms that layup. Kuzma with the screen for Ball. Kuzma with a screen on Iguodala. Stevenson dishes the ball. Lock at six. Kuzma sets a screen. Buries it from three-point range. Ball's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Warriors trail. And you look at Livingston in high school, five-star recruit, and already a fan favorite because of the way he played. 
Well, Sean Livingston is an unbelievable passer. He's got great court sense. He's a perfect leadership presence in the locker room. And think about his story, the gruesome injury that certainly took a toll in his career, but the ability to fight back and make yourself an integral part of a team that has now won multiple championships. You talk about great talent, but even tougher mentality. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Timeout called the Lakers. Some changes. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Cousins. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Thompson in for McCall. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Beasley. Brandon Ingram comes in for Lance Stevenson. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Josh Hart. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Lonzo Ball. So much of being a scorer is finding ways to get open without the ball, of course. And there are a lot of guys that do that very well in the league right now. Well, you think back to guys like Ray Allen, who have retired in the last five to six years. He was one of the all-time best. Uh, you think back to the Detroit Pistons teams and Rip Hamilton. They set the stage for today's generation. Guys like Clay Thompson and Kyle Korver, who are relentless in their motion and sometimes do it randomly. Outside of the context of the offense, they're just, because they've done it so often, the kind of movement they create puts tremendous stress on your defense. McGee is screen. Rondo is screen on green. Outside Rondo. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. I, I tell you what, Rondo will get physical down low in that post. He is not going to back down from anybody. Green, the pass to Thompson. No good that time. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. And not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but, but he can also contribute inside. The way he releases his shot makes it very difficult to block. And Green now, top of the key. Durant with a screen on Ingram. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just one on the bucket from Draymond Green. And it's true. Kevin Durant is all about doing what's best for the team. This guy has no problem setting a great screen. Now here's Ingram. Kicks to LeBron. Uses the glass to finish the layup. James has got the lead up to three now for Los Angeles. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And Bell kicks to Livingston. Green, the screen. Here's Durant. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Right side, Rondo. In the corner, it's James. Over Green. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Warriors trail by six. And it's Ingram with the rebound. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. James kicks to McGee. Now Rondo. 
The dish to James. The fadeaway. Unable to get that one. And so that brings the first half to a close. Lakers ahead, up by six. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Joined by Steve Kerr. Coach, plenty of action in the first half. Probably too much for your point of view. What do you need to do to stop these guys? Well, we have to contain the ball. Their penetration is leading to a lot of those three-point shots. So, got to stay in front of the ball handlers and do a better job with that. But, you know, it's a long game. We like the pace. We like to play this way. And we feel like eventually our defense will kick in. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. In the second quarter, they were easily the better team. The points started coming for them in bunches, and they built a six-point lead by halftime. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. I was super impressed with their shot selection. I think that was part of the strategy coming in. They wanted to be patient with the basketball, move it around, and get high percentage looks. Obviously, that's going to be big. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? They kind of get more aggressive on the glass. Over the first half, we saw them being schooled down low. You know what I'm going to say, Ernie. Barbecue chicken. If I was coach in the locker room right now, they'd be getting an earful. Extra rebounding. Effort will pay off in other ways. The energy is really where it starts. Something like that, Ernie. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. 